The next question is, what is your problem with Harun Yahya? I have never spoken anything about Harun Yahya and his connection with Imam al-Mahdi. I get lots of emails from people in many parts of the world telling me this and that about Harun Yahya and Imam al-Mahdi. That is a red herring. Red herring in, in English means a diversion. Something to divert your attention. Not important. What is important for me about Harun Yahya is that he is he has become so influential around the world of Islam in lightning speed with a huge number of books and a huge number of documentaries all on cable television and his books for children also in schools as though one mastermind is at work to influence the thinking of the entire Ummah of Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam. As a consequence of which, I have to pay more attention to Harun Yahya than to other scholars. He's a very influential man. And my first problem is, never in the history of Islam has Islamic scholarship ever hidden its name behind some pen name. That's not a part of our civilization. When a scholar of Islam stands up to preach or to teach or to write, he identifies himself so he can be held responsible for what he says and what he writes. And so I find it very suspicious that someone should depart from this norm of scholarly conduct and hide behind a fictitious name. Subsequently, we were told that this Harun Yahya is actually a Turkish brother in Turkey with a particular Turkish name. Whether he is or is not, is not a matter for me to pass judgment over tonight. But I want to direct attention to one book of his, uh, entitled Imam al-Mahdi and the End Times. And when I read that book, I was profoundly disturbed because he expressed views in that book which appears to me to be views that could also come from the Israeli Mossad. This is what he says. And if I am wrong, I invite him to correct me. That when Nabi Isa alayhi salam returns, when the Prophet Jesus returns, the Quran tells us that the Jews and Christians, the Ahlul Kitab, would have to believe in him. And so, according to Harun Yahya, there is an end of history in which Jews and Christians and Muslims will all believe in Nabi Isa alayhi salam and as a consequence will become a fraternity, a brotherhood, all living together with fraternal feelings for each other. And he continues to argue that if, if this is what is going to happen at that time, then should we not now reach out to Jews and to Christians to build that fraternity now. Oh yes, that would please the Israeli Mossad a lot. This is false. This is not what Prophet Muhammad has told us. And this is not the proper interpretation of the Quran. This is false. This is deceptive. What is going to happen 
when Nabi Isa alayhi salam returns is that a people who were acting in the same way that Pharaoh acted waging war on Islam waging war on those who have faith in Allah a people who had become oppressors who were arrogant oppressors who had power and were using that power to oppress that people would now suffer the same fate that Pharaoh suffered when he was drowning the Quran tells us that when Pharaoh was drowning the veils of course were removed from his eyes and he then recognized that Musa alayhi salam and Banu Israel had the truth and their God was the true God and he Pharaoh was not God and so he declared his faith in the God of Banu Israel and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responded and this is in Surah to Yunus and I invite Harun Yahya to kindly look up the verse Al-an, now Pharaoh wa qal asayta qabl and before this you were in arrogant objection rejection wa kunta min al-mufsirin and you were committing fasad you were oppressing فَالْيَوْمَ نُنَجِّيكَ بِبَدَنِكَ This day we have decided to preserve your physical body لِتَكُونَ لِمَنْ خَلْفَكَ آيَةً That your physical body when it is rediscovered when it resurfaces in the historical process would be a sign for a people to come after you What is that sign? The sign is this and since they will live the way you lived they will die the way you died a divine intervention caused your destruction a divine intervention will cause their destruction and you went into the hellfire despite your declaration of faith and they will also declare their faith and it will be of no help to them and they'll also go into the hellfire the body of Pharaoh was discovered and the world acknowledges it somewhere around 1897 I believe I can be wrong by a few years but the Zionist movement was created in the same year that the body of Pharaoh was discovered and, the society, and so the sign is very clear for those Jews and for those Christians who are supporters of the state of Israel for the Zionist Jews and the Zionist Christians when Jesus comes back Nabi Isa alayhi salam at that time you will have to declare your faith but it will be of no benefit to you there is no fraternity between us and you at that time Harun Yahya you are wrong you misleading the people instead of a fraternity Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu waslam told us what is going to happen at that time and I invite Harun Yahya to quote this hadith if he has the courage and the integrity to do so the Prophet said the hadith is in Sahih Bukhari he can check it up لَتُقَاتِلُنَّ الْيَهُودِ you'll most certainly fight the Jews وَلَتَقْتُلُنَّهُمْ and you'll most certainly defeat them حَتَّى يَقُولُ الْحَجَرَ at that time even the stones will speak يَا مُسْلِمْ O Muslim هَذَا يَهُودِيٌ وَرَأِي there's a Jew hiding behind me oh so they'll be on the run on that day is the Prophet speaking about all Jews? Oh, come on. You should have a little bit more intelligence than that. 
No, he's not speaking about those Jews who are standing with us and opposing Israeli oppression. He's not speaking about those Jews who refuse to be Zionists. No. He's speaking about those Jews who are oppressors. They'll be hiding behind trees and stone. As a Yahudi and Warai, Fata'ala Faktul. So come and kill him. These are the words of Prophet Muhammad. And it's a little lit. It's a little late in the historical process to try to erase those words now. And so what has been written in that book is false. And the world of Islam must be warned to reject this view presented by Harun Yahya, a view with which the Israeli Mossad would be very comfortable.